Okay, guys, I'm back, and um, of, co of course I want to do uh, one of those again because the one I did yesterday wasn't as satisfying as I thought it would be. And I'm thinking now it has to do with too many colors in the cup. When you do too many colors, I think the and the pattern is uh, very busy. I think that has to do with then your eyes don't know what to look at. I don't know. I think it's something like that. And the pouring and the pattern is different because you have too many colors. So we'll see if that is true or not when I do this one. So first making sure I have everything nicely covered in paint. There we go. In the corner there. A little bit there in the corner. Zip. That is nicely covered. Do want to go just a little bit around the edge. Otherwise, I don't think it's very professional. There we go. There it is. It's ready. Okay. Now, I'm going to do it in one of those little silicone cuppies. And I'm going to start with this. And what I did is I made the paint just that little bit more thinner. So I'm going to, oh no, I didn't do that one. That one's thicker. Let's see. Yeah, that's better. And I do think I want the darker one too. Just a little bit. And then this one again. Okay. Oh, that's not enough. I don't think so. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to pour it right here. Oh, not tilting, not too much. Not too much tilting. Too much tilting is not good. Very pretty, but the colors make me feel like a barista. <laughs> Someone that pours cappuccinos all day long. <laughs> but it's okay. But what I really would like is that to spread out, and I'm not sure how to do that. See, if I do it like this, well, that's kind of nice that it goes like that. I think I'll keep this one. Okay. And up to now it's a lot of hit and miss. And I really don't like that. So I still don't have it totally under control, which I would really like. when we do this oops no that's not good because I want to keep it exactly like this this I like more tilting not good so what do we do we're gonna add paint right here oh and I got it all contaminated as you can see there in the corner mm, that looks a little bit better There's a lot of bubbles in that paint. I put uh, water in the bottle and uh, that's, oh, uh, see all the little pinholes? Just don't like pinholes. Oh, I didn't clean that off yet. Let's see if I can clean that off a little bit better. 
that's a good thing about um, about acrylic paint once it's dry it's just like plastic you can peel it off everything almost so now it's clean I'm gonna do something to it in a bit just have to fill in the gaps more there so it can go over the side a little bit here a little bit there okay now it's all over the place <clears throat> but look at all the bubbles there ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I have to do that because uh, otherwise I'm, I'll have too many bubbles. I'm going to tilt it anyway. Oops. There it goes. That looks better. But this isn't pretty. That isn't pretty. So we have to do something to it. Where are my little toothpickies? Toothpickies, where are you? And for the people not thinking that it is interesting, please look for your fast forward button and use it. <laughs> That'll go away. I'm pretty sure that's going to go away. My sleeves are hanging down and I don't want to get a sleeve caught in the paint because then I can really just toss it. But I'd really like to be able to add more paint to it afterwards, but I don't think that's going to work out. So, see, that works out pretty. This I don't want. So we're going to move that. So that's kind of nice that, you know, after you've done your pouring, you can still do things to the uh, to the pattern just to make it a little bit prettier. And right down here we have some pinholes. And it's, by doing this it's almost gone. You can almost not see it anymore. There it is. There's a little air bubble here, and one here, and there, whoops, 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 whoops. The bigger ones, I, I like to burst them because uh, they will leave uh, pretty much a hole in the paint. So those I don't want, the air bubbles I'm talking about, not the pinholes. I think it's pretty. This is another keeper. Oops, a little hole down here, which we don't want. As long as you go with the flow of the painting, I, I think you could uh, really uh, get rid of all the little pinholes you don't like. There's no problem with doing that at all. As long as you go along with uh, the flow. Just a little bit more here. Okay, I think we're done. There it is. So um, it works on, on the smaller canvases, but when you go bigger, I think the whole thing is that uh, my paint was, uh, again, on the thicker side, then that doesn't work. And the thinner the paint, the better you get that pattern on your canvas. Um, I also think that uh, having the earth colors um, work well with this pattern because I'm thinking if I did this with blues and turquoises and white well it might be a nice pour but you know it, uh, I, I find it really pleasing to the eye because it's sort of organic and I know water is that too but the earthy colors make it really 
you know, it, it goes with the pattern, I think. I think that's it. So um, that's about it. Just a little bit more down here. Yeah, I think this is it. Now, guys, uh, I'm going to be cleaning up a little bit. I still have a lot of paint. So I'm going to try one more, but then I'm going to add turquoise because I want some turquoise. And I'm missing a turquoise. So, and then what I have left, I'll do the squishes. So this is a short video and I'll come back again with another pour and I'll do a lot of squishes till my paint is gone. And that's the last one for today too. So, liebe euch alle, ich würde das nicht mehr vergessen. Nein. Und um, uh, auf Wiedersehen. Bis nächsten Video. And I love you all to pieces. Bye bye.